Alrighty, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Uh, day 66. I cannot believe that I've actually probably done uh, 66 videos pretty pretty much in a row, right? I have I have skipped a couple days here and there. Uh, I've repurposed some videos, uh, but it's crazy. Time is flying by. And I'll be 100% honest with you, just like I was yesterday, uh, I'm struggling with these right now. I'm, I'm literally forcing myself to do these videos because I committed to them. I told myself I was going to do them. So that is what is keeping me going right now. My motivation to drop a bunch of secret sauce value uh, is, is becoming more and more difficult, which will probably change, you know, overnight. Realistically, it's it doesn't weird seasons and lack of motivation doesn't last forever. And sometimes you kind of just have to force the hand and, and do the thing and Motivation comes afterwards, right? You start feeling good about how things are going. You start feeling, uh, you know, you get some interaction. You do some stuff in business, and it's a lot easier to ride that uh, wave of momentum than kind of fighting yourself internally around not wanting to do things. And and I know that's not a sexy thing to think about, like, you know, but it but it happens in business. And mind you, I do have some some cool trainings planned for you guys uh, coming up down the pipeline before I finish out this this hundred videos in a hundred days series. I do want to actually get a training up around creating, launching, uh, putting together a school community. Uh, we've been absolutely loving school. Uh, I just be honest, I don't. I literally do not have the motivation to do it today. Otherwise, I would. I've already. We already did our coaching call this morning for our group juice peeps. Uh, I prepped a training for the month of live workshop, and, and I'm a uh, fizzled out, right? If I'm being honest. So keep your eyes peeled on that. I will definitely be getting you guys some more tactics, some strategies, some actual good info other than me just running my neck on the video for you guys. But today I wanna to talk about, uh, a little bit about like short form video content. Now, I know I've talked about this uh, quite a few different times. I've talked about this in a few different lens, uh, but, but a very pro, uh, very common thing that I'm seeing, especially on the short form video platforms is, and, and don't get me wrong, I've done this too, but I, I, I see so many people that are like treating it as, like a, a, a billboard for your products, right? Like you're just constantly barraging product, product, product. Uh, and, and obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Like we wanna make sales, you have to make offers here and there. Uh, but the one thing that I would encourage a lot of people to do would be stop necessarily selling so aggressively from your short form video. Now, the reason I actually mention this is because we have to look a little bit deeper at how these platforms work, how short form video actually works. Now, the bulk of the people who are interacting, seeing your content, consuming your content, if you're growing, you're following, you're getting views, you're doing all this stuff, the bulk of the people who see your content on short form video content, TikTok, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, they've never seen you before. They don't know who you are. It might be the first 60 second video they ever see from you. Which means if we are talking about our potential audience on a spectrum of being ready to buy, they are way farther back than somebody who has consumed more content from you. And I kind of talked about this this morning over on one of my posts where I was talking about the one tweak that I started making in uh, 2020 and 2021, like as soon as short form video content came out, um, because I was actually, you know, building an online business and doing all that stuff before TikTok was even a thing. Yes, I'm a dinosaur, apparently. Um, but the one thing that I saw on these platforms is it was like, at the time, it might still be a, a trend or a topic. I don't, I don't know. I try not to pay too much attention to uh, too many things going on outside of uh, like the social media apps. Uh very easy to get, you know, frustrated, consuming a bunch of other people or like, you know, so I try not to spend too much time just consuming content. Uh, but the biggest, most popular topic or trend uh, on the social media was, you know, the fake remote jobs, quick, easy side hustles, all that type of stuff. And they were all like bait and switching and, and selling, you know, value letter product and all that stuff. But the one tweak that I really started to make with my short form video content, which pretty much took my results from non-existent the year prior to doing over six figures as an affiliate, uh, I stopped selling 
from my TikTok. I started using my short form videos purely to grow a longer form medium, a, a community, right? I started growing my community with the short form video content. Now the caveat was I was selling at the time, I was selling the same product as everybody else, but this allowed me to show up from a completely different lens, right? Instead of me getting lost on these social media feeds of constantly, hey, go buy this product, go buy this thing, go do this, go jump into this program. This is the coolest thing since, you know, sliced bread, go buy this offer. It was simply, hey, I have this free stuff that could help you do this over here. And I think it's going to be beneficial to help you get to this goal. And the cool part that ended up really ha happening is I started to actually sell more of this exact same offer I was already selling because I stopped trying to sell it where everybody else was. It gave me a unique position in the market. It gave me unique property. It gave me unique things in the, in the marketplace to offer to people. Like instead of me copy and pasting everybody else, selling the exact same thing in the same way as everybody else, I was hey, I have this kick-ass free community where I broke down X, Y, Z, and I want to help you get started. And then I would make offers around the same exact product inside of the group as soon as they came in. But because it was from a completely different lens and it was from a, hey, I'm not trying to like just pitch you. Like I want you to come into my group and see if you even want to do this. If you want to build an online business or if you don't want to build an online business, then I'm not going to twist your arm to come buy my offer before you ever even figure out if it's something you want to do. Now, we, we talked about this this morning with our group juice people on the coaching call where I think it would be advantageous for a lot of people to actually start slowing down a bit, right? Like you just started creating content last week. You just started creating content two or three weeks ago. Like we don't necessarily need to start worrying about what product you're offering people or what program you're going to give them like we, we need to a be consistent with the content creation, but we need to start giving valuable things to our audience. If you want to make easy sales, you want simple sales, you want to potentially stack monthly recurring revenue, there needs to be some type of goodwill established in your audience. Otherwise, you're not going to sell any products, you're going to be hard pressed to sell products, or you're going to be constantly chasing new product sales. Oh, this trending product, I'm going to go sell this. And then I'm jumping to this trending product. And then I'm jumping to this trending product. Versus if we can put a bigger weight on giving value around things that you're already knowledgeable, ex have expertise in things you've done in business life, etc. It makes selling people any offer a lot easier. And this is the part that gets overlooked. Like I I've had the same group up until May when we launched our joint free community, I, I had the same group since I started my online business. I started that group when I was running a social media marketing agency. I had that, that group when I was writing blog posts, when I was doing all of the different things in my business, I've had that exact same community and I've sold so many different offers out of that group. But the front end messaging and the front end angles that I've been utilizing is to get people into the group. Right? Like everything we end up doing in our group can virtually become a lead magnet to get somebody into your community. But the, the number one thing that I would really encourage a lot of people to start doing, especially if you want to spend less time closing sales, if you, if you don't want to like talk to people every day, all day, if you want uh, people coming to you ready to buy your products, then what we need to actually start doing, especially if you're creating short form video content, is you need to use it in a, in a way that isn't just buy this thing, go buy this product, like, hey, go check the link in my bio. Uh, I would simply start positioning your short form video content as a tool to grow a place where you're going deeper, like a YouTube channel or a, a, a Facebook group or a school group, utilizing the rapid attention that you can get from a short form video medium and then sending them to somewhere that they can get to know you, they can learn about your story, they can watch some videos from you, they can get some trainings from you. So that way they even understand or know about your offer before you ever even talk to them. And if you look at a lot of my short form video content is very derived from creating attention, awareness, bringing people into the group, where then the group were posting content very regularly in, they, in there. I think there's like 112 free trainings inside of our free community as of right now. There is so much information. 
free affiliate program, et cetera, et cetera, that people can actually come in and get results with. And then we're making offers to people in the group once a week. It's not a constant every post is, hey, come buy my product. I have this cool thing for you because a good way, a good visual representation that everybody will understand. It's like you trying to sell products to an audience that you don't have a relationship with or you haven't built a relationship with is like you trying to go into the bank account and withdraw money when you have zero dollars in there. You make deposits to your, your bank account, your audience, by giving value, by giving things to them, helping them do things. Only then can you start extrapolating sales when they've got some form of value or connection through the actual content you're creating. So my word of advice, total rant today, but my word of advice for you guys, if you want simpler sales, you want easier sales, you want to spend less time closing deals, you want to uh, not have to you know, pressurize people into buying your products or do a song and dance with them or rely on like, you know, automations or all this complex stuff to like sell for you, uh, I would simply start utilizing your short form video content if you're creating it to seed some type of long form medium, whether that's a YouTube channel, a group, a community, a DM conversation, uh, utilize it how it actually works because that's the thing that is very easy to forget. Like we're, we're trying to talk to somebody who already knows what business is, who's already spent X, Y, Z. And you got to remember with the short form video, a lot of people, they've never seen you before. And the reality is, is if somebody's never seen you before and they've only seen you once, they've only watched a 60 second video from you, chances of them pulling out their thousand dollars and buying a product from you is pretty slim. And when it does happen, it's not going to be consistent enough to keep it up for the next two, three, four, five years. And that's just my tangent for today, right? Totally a, a random thought that I had on my brain. And, uh, you know, moral of the story, build a community. Build a long-form medium that you can kind of punch people in the face with as much value as you can and sell off the back of that because it makes everything else easier. Until tomorrow. Bye.